Hello everyone, I'm Tabitha with Moonlight Custom Creations and what we're going to do today is make a geo tumbler with a smoke effect. So I have a tumbler here, it's already prepped uh, and painted. I spray painted it white. I use the two times Rust-Oleum. Uh, the white that I use is flat, um, but it's right there. But you can use any, um, it doesn't matter if it's flat, matte, or gloss, it doesn't matter, whatever your preference is. I usually just lean more towards the flat. And um, I actually already put the water slide on here. My customer wants this cup made for her dad, and her dad drag races. So she sent me the image, I printed it out on clear water slide paper which I use the Haze clear water slide paper. It's, um, I just give it off Amazon. It's really, really inexpensive. Um, and then I put a coat of epoxy on it. Um, and now that the epoxy is dry, it's been 24 hours, we can go ahead and get started with our GEC. So what we're going to do first is I'm going to use black and I'm going to use white. So I'm gonna go outside, I'm gonna spray paint all of this right here. I'm gonna spray paint it black. And this is the black that I use. It's Rust-Oleum two times black flat. Um, again, it doesn't matter if it's flat, um, flat, gloss, semi-gloss, or matte. Um, and then we're going to spray over that with my white Rust-Oleum two times. And then I will be back to show you what to do next. Okay, everybody. I did my two coats. I did the black and then the white on top. And it is dry. It's not tacky or anything. So it is fully dry. So what we're going to do now is I already made a little spot just to make sure that that was actually my photo. Because there for a minute, I got a little scared um so what we're going to do is we're going to take our little cloth i ran out of cotton balls so we're just going to use this little makeup cloth that i have right here and we're going to dip it in a little bit of acetone all right and then we're just going to let's see if i can get you guys a good angle here we're just going to take our cloth and just start rubbing where our picture is at. here so I'm gonna go ahead and put the decal on as well and our decal is going to say want to race little spot right here that I want to get with some more acetone um it's gonna say want to race right down here sorry I just wanted to clean that up a little bit better Okay, so now that's done, we will put our decal on. I did, it's like a, um, almost like a metal looking vinyl. Um, it's Cricut brand. 
I just cut it out uh, from Design Space. And grab my little teal over here. It's gonna be one of those, ain't it? me problems of course sometimes I can like get this vinyl to like get on the transfer paper to save my life like they just want to and now they're sticking to me this is the first time I've ever used this vinyl, so if y'all have ever used this, I probably just need better transfer tape, honestly. I'm not a huge fan. Of this one, but that is all I have. Oh my gosh, this stuff is so sticky. Lord, it should not have been that hard. Where? Wanna race? Finally got it on there. Jeez, old my 90s. Jeez, old pants. Uh oh. Got a piece of glitter stuck on there. So. I'm just gonna make sure our tumblers clean of everything. Before we move on to um, the smoke effect. All right, that looks good. Get some of this trash all the way. Okay. Now for the smoke effect, what you're going to need is you're going to need a lighter of some sort, a candle, and I'm going to move my towel because I don't want to burn anything down. So, you're just going to light your candle, let that burn, and you're also going to need a butter knife or something to put over the flame that's metal. It creates black smoke. And then that is how you get the smoke effect on the tumbler. So, all you're gonna do is, you're gonna put the tumbler over the smoke. The closer you are to the flame, the more, the darker it's going to be. So just keep that in mind. And then it gives it that really cool swirl effect right here. Let's see the spot right here where I want to get some mo. Okay. And that's what that looks like right here. I think it's absolutely like freaking awesome. Um, and the cool thing about this, check out. the cool thing about this is you don't have to, um, you don't have to seal it or anything. You just let it dry and then you can go straight to epoxy. So I'm going to let this dry for a little while and uh, put it on my turner and put a coat of epoxy on it. Probably a couple coats. Um, make sure everything's smooth. And then it will be done. And I will come back and show you guys the final result. Alright everybody. It is now a couple days later. And this beauty has two coats of epoxy on it. It's 
pretty smooth. There still is a couple bumps here and there, so I will sand it down. Put another layer of epoxy on it, but this is all done. And I absolutely love it. All right. Well, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button, and I will see you next time.